All right, let's take what we've learned so far and apply it to a much more complex object, and we'll go over some more techniques in order to have a really elegant solution for breaking down an object like this into a usable game res. Just a quick overview of the source file here. We're looking at 3.3 million points. I have several different subtools in here, and as we bring this over, either exporting this as an FBX, something we've gone over as well. So if we go over here to the Z plugin window, we can export all of this as uh, we can do all or we can do all visible as an FBX or use the GoZ visible. This is a tool made out of several subtools here. As you can see, they're all named. So when I bring this into Houdini, it's going to retain not only the polypane information, which in this case is vertex color, it's also going to retain all of these names. And this will be retained whether I bring it over as a GoZ mesh or an FBX mesh. So if you're not using ZBrush, feel free to export an FBX and you'll still be able to follow along. Now, the reason we have these things as a separate FBX is for animation purposes. So if I want to say, if I alt-tap this one, we want to slide, have the ability to slide these things in and out along an axis, or same thing with these skimmer things up front, we can move these things in and out, and then rotate these pads down here. I want to have those meshes available to me to articulate. Same thing with the weapon in here, we have these little blast shields that can open, and then these weapons can pop in and out like this. And we've also got these little flaps down here, so of course, if they need to, they can rotate these around and they can move as the ship is adjusting in space. Or as it's flying around, these flaps here and here can all be adjusting. So I can hold down Shift and click this paintbrush on so that we have the colorize turned on. And at this point, I can either export the, ex export the FBX or send this over to ZBrush using GoZ. Before I do that, I'm going to go back to Houdini. Click this plus sign, go to Shelves, and we're going to turn on our GoZ shelf. Start GoZ so we can open a port. And then back in ZBrush. I'm just going to do Visible. I'm not going to bother blasting out this star node like we did in the earlier videos. So we'll go ahead and send over All Visible. And then we'll hop back over into Houdini. I'm going to hit Spacebar G to go ahead and frame our mesh. And here we are. If you need to, you can turn off this grid plane change any of these shading options here. Uh, I think we'll stick with flat wire shaded for now, and then we can just do Shift W to toggle the wireframes on and off.